What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and here's a bit of an update on the Gina Carano, Cara Dune situation that I thought I would succinctly point out, give you all the ammunition that you need to prove that this was absolutely 100% politically motivated. Now, I'm sure you're aware, if you're here on my channel, that I am a fan of Gina Carano. I'm a fan of Cara Dune and was a fan of The Mandalorian until last night when they fired uh, a character that I really, a person I enjoy and a character I really like uh, over partisan political hackery and a Twitter cancel mob. The idea that people are so desperate to pretend that this wasn't cancel culture literally proves that it was. Uh, the idea that this wasn't because she was not an open leftist. Now, remember, Twitter likes to rewrite history. And a lot of them are talking about like, oh, Carano was a Trumper, Carano was a Republican. She never said any of this stuff. This is just them projecting that on her so they can dehumanize her and justify being terrible to her. Um, and by the way, if you haven't yet, Please make today the day that you subscribe. There's a red subscribe button down below. I don't know what's going on. YouTube is definitely screwing my channel. And maybe if a bunch of new people subscribe, uh, it'll break it out of whatever shadow banning it's got going on. Um, also, leave a like on this video and a comment to help support Gina Carano as I will continue to go to bat for her uh, regardless of outcome, because it's what is right. Just a few, just to, I mean, if, if we want to go back, if we want to go back, uh, let's go to probably one of the biggest cancel culture, uh, scenarios was director James Gunn, who suffered cancel culture as retaliation for Roseanne being fired. That's exactly what it was. And if we go back to uh, July 20th, 2018, the um, uh, article reads, the open question now whether James Gunn will follow through on his plans. He tweeted to come to San Francisco Comic-Con. Um, he's been removed as a director for Guardians of the Galaxy series after a batch of old social media dispatches were unearthed that touched on areas like the P word and the R word in the latest shocking development in the entertainment industry. He was severed from the Marvel Comics universe after a slew of social media posts he wrote before getting Guardians of the Galaxy surfaced. According to Fox News, they were posted because he is an outspoken critic of Donald Trump and the effort was to knock him down a few pegs. Yeah, it probably was. It, this was the, the left canceled Roseanne and then the right canceled James Gunn. It was awful. It was terrible. Now, look, I'll tell you this, I grew up loving Roseanne. There wasn't a more woke show on television when I was a kid, by the way. And this newest rendition was going to be even more woke. On the left, still canceled her. Um, the idea that I would never watch the show without Roseanne, um, but that's what happened. Uh, except he was rehired just a little while later because Disney doesn't really care because he has the right politics. How about Sky Jackson, the uh, former Disney uh, uh, whatever, doxing a 13-year-old um, and, and causing people uh, terrible outcomes. Now, this kid, by the way, uh, is had said some terrible things, but again, just not really Sky Jackson's position to be putting their information out there. Under the comment he posted, let's not forget that you doxed a kid and is tweeting random stuff to make people forget. And she put out info on many people, which is also illegal, and states an apology that they're fine or addresses the fact that she committed a crime multiple times. Uh, people talking about, if you remember that, Sky Jackson going on a rampage um, posting everybody's addresses and uh, personal information. Um, you know, ultimately, Disney was fine with that. Could Scott Jackson really get in trouble for exposing bad people on social media? The 18-year-old actress has made it her mission to expose bad behavior on social platforms after everything that happened this summer. Um, and she was putting out addresses and locations of people. Yes, she absolutely could. Here's a name. 
Hartley Sawyer, you've been exposed, putting out all these points, and then people listing their addresses down below. Her name is, you know, Autumn Swatman. Her Instagram is this. Um, you know, all of this stuff, um, while maybe um, rooted in, how do I say, um, how do I say, good intentions, uh, was dot were she was doxing kids? Doxing is, according to the paper published by Crichton Law Review, a form of cyber harassment that involves the public release of personal information that can be used to identify or locate an individual, such as a person's home address, email address, phone numbers, and other contact information. Her her threads were absolutely full, full of this. How about how about uh how about Another Lucasfilm employee, Christina Ariel. Remember her from just a few weeks ago? White people, effing stop it. Your ism won't save you. Your ignorance is not an excuse. Just a reminder that white women are just as complicit in upholding and enforcing white supremacy. What? What? I don't want to see one more think piece written by a white person about how they think all black people will vote for Kanye West. You sound dumb. Well, I didn't think anybody wrote that. Um, the idea that uh, this woman who has said some heinous things about, uh, you know, lumping white folks together. Um, fine. Never removed by um, Lucasfilm. In fact, the official Star Wars account tweeted out, Our Star Wars community is one of hope and inclusivity. We do not stand for bullying, and we support Christiana Ariel. Okay, but what about her disparaging remarks about white women? Or the whites? Now, does it matter to Disney? Okay. How about Pedro Pascal, the character? Um... Uh, from the Mandalorian, posted Lu uh, ca uh, ca calling, equating um, Trump supporters, half of this country, to people from uh, the bad guys from WW2. This is when Biden won the election. I mean, okay. And how about how about the other post that he put uh, with the kids in cages thing? Pedro Pascal. Uh, Sky Jackson, Ariel, whatever her stupid name is, Christiana Ariel, all these James Gunn, they've all done heinous things online, but they all got either their jobs back or never lost them in the first place. Why do you think that that is? Um, you know, why do you think, do you think it's because Disney just really cares about people posting heinous things on social media? Or is it because, I don't know, perhaps they weren't of the right opinion? This is what Gina Carano, if we, if we go back to, this is a, a, back in September, Data Race have put, put together all this, just the vile, heinous things. People felt totally fine to say a complete stranger on the internet, calling her, just insulting her physical looks and just calling her terrible things making up lies about her. This is exactly what she was talking about in her post. Like, you get that, right? This is exactly what she was talking about. It's the exact same stuff. They dehumanize you so that then they can come back and say heinous things about you. Make no mistake about it. Disney fired her because she had the wrong political opinions, not because she had made... Um, spicy posts on social media because if that were the case pedro pascal would have been fired james gunn would not have been rehired sky J jackson would be gone um ariel christiana ariel would be gone so disney is not in any way acting here in the best interest of uh of keeping uh controversies off social media it's entirely fine for them to go on and have people disparage half of this country and equate them to the bad guys from ww2 uh it's fine for them to have people on their payroll who disparage all white people in posts and calling them and, and white women that's fine that's all fine no matter how mad people get about that it can trend for a day dizzy can get a thousand emails they don't care because it is the winning political opinion um this was because gina carano was fired because she 
did not tow the political line. If she had posted things anti-white or anti-male, she never would have been fired. This is just a fact. I proved it to you. We have uh, plenty of Disney employees who have posted heinous things and were never fired. In fact, publicly supported over the years. Absolutely disgusting behavior by Disney. Uh, they did Gina Carano super dirty and she'll probably never work in Hollywood again. And that's, I mean, and that's a real shame. Um, they've successfully branded her as an other. Uh, her agencies dropped her and um, and people losers are actually celebrating it. Please make sure before you leave this video that you leave a like, you subscribe, you comment, you consider sharing it. I want Gina to know that there is a lot. There are a lot of people that support her specifically, and um, for me, this isn't about the culture battle. This is about supporting Gina, uh, who was clearly wronged, and the double standard that exists from Disney very clearly in the public eye. I hope she sues them, but she probably won't or can't win. And this is just a just a terrible, terrible thing to happen to someone that's been nothing but nice to me and the Star Wars community. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.